Hey guys, FJ Cuts here and welcome back to the channel. Guys, today we have a haircut transformation for you guys and it's a mid skin fade which is going to be the blurriest you've ever seen. Guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe. We have so many videos lined up for you guys so make sure you don't miss out by hitting that notification bell. Guys, let's get straight into this video and peace. Alright guys, so to start, you know, with any simple fades, I use my T outliners or my slimline pros to just, you know, debulk, get rid of that bottom line, which is the zero. Um, to do this, I usually use my seniors, um, I have a spare one in hand, or I use my slimline pros, which is, you know, easy to get around the air, just to make that bolding line, you know, your first guideline. This is what's going to set off your full fade, so if you're going for like a mid skin fade, you want to just keep it in the midline with the temple where the eyebrows are. If you're doing a low skin fade, then you're going to, you know, make it lower than that. If you're going to do a higher one, then just make it higher. Guys, the, the, the bolding line for this bit is just, you know, this is the most important step because, you know, this is what will determine how high or how low your skin fade will be. So as you can see, I'm being careful around the line, making sure everything is clean because, you know, a clean template will be, you know, easier to fade. So you want to make sure your guidelines are clean and steady, not just messed up and don't rush it guys, you're not in a rush. Cutting hair is not a race guys, you know, everyone works at their own time, you know, if, if you have more experience, you can do something much quicker, if you have less experience, you know, it's going to take you a lot longer, so just take your time with it. You're not racing against time, you're just fading guys. Make sure to use your wrist and try not to dig deep around the area because that skin is quite sensitive and it's quite soft, so it's easier to, you know, just cut into the skin so just be careful around the air make sure to brush off any hair so that you know your customer or yourself is comfortable and you want to do the same thing on the other side if you want to make sure that everything is even um, on height of where your fade line is just look straight at the mirror and just compare each side to make sure that you know both sides are even you don't want one side to be higher and one side to be lower so just make sure it's just about even and just work with it Guys, if you're a normal barber, you probably know this, but to those who are, you know, just trimming your family, trimming your own hair, if your mo if you're like your trimmer or your motor in the trimmer is not as quick or not as strong, you're gonna have to take your time when you're taking bulk off. You don't wanna just flick up like I'm doing here because your motor will be slower, so it's gonna take longer to trim the hair. If you do go fast like this and your motor is slow, you're just gonna be pulling off the hair. So just take your time. If you have a good trimmer, then you're good. It makes everything more efficient. If not, just take your time with it. All right, now I'm going with a foreguard and I'm just going against the grain, making sure all the hair is even. If you're not using a foreguard for your type of haircut, just do this step first before you start putting in your other guidelines. It will make your fading technique way better, guys. Like you have a cleaner canvas to start fading. Guys, this is what separates different barbers from the others. This is a foil shaver which gets your fade 
another gradient so this is like what makes your zero gap trimmers into like zero zero gap so this is what gets the actual hair that's been trimmed by your trimmers to zero zero like skin feel so this is what removes a little stubble with beards but for this time we're just flicking up from the bottom guys leaving at least a centimeter you don't want to go all the way to the line because or else you'll be struggling to fade out that line again so just flick up to when you get towards the top um when you're at the bottom just keep rubbing it in you don't want to go too much guys because you might give him a rash so just take your time with it now you want to put in your first guideline which is a 0 0.5 this is with the andes masters and i'm going with the lever open just a centimeter and i'm going up as you can see guys i am just you know fading up i'm not digging in i'm just flicking up as i go because if you do dig in it's going to be harder to fade that line and you might even risk of just pushing the fade higher so just take your time just flick up keep flicking up guys the camera died when i started doing this but with a one guard lever open you're flicking up from that line which is made this will make another level which is going from the zero zero skin 0 0.5 and now the 1.5 with the lever open And now guys i am now using the big guard so we have a two three and four that you can use as you can see here i am using the free guard and i'm just trying to debolt the top so the top meaning from the four that's going into the three and then a two and then a 1.5 i'm here just you know flicking up guys i'm not digging in as you can see look at my wrist guys i'm flicking up and i still have my brush guys i'm brushing the hair down so i'm just literally just brushing keep brushing it up guys flick flick with your wrist and if that's not taking enough hair off go down to the two guard and do the same thing keep using your lever bit by bit and if you're still not trimming anymore then go down to the 1.5 that's easy as it gets guys just go in steps if it's not trimming go down use your lever keep going down if it's gone all the way closed go the guard down and just fade it up again and now this step guys we're just starting to fade the lines we have made so now with the one guard i am now playing with the lever trying to you know remove that dark line as you can see in the middle you know just going from sideways different from angles um, the angles you actually want to go with is like an x guys you want to go left right sometimes up as well you don't want to go up too much because you might make another you know you might even push that fade high just guys use half of the blade most of the time if you're using it if you're doing a taper you know you only use half the blade but since this is a mid skin fade it's the whole head it makes it easier by using the whole blade but flick it from sideways guys use your lighting as well guys that's most important thing about you know fading with hair you want to see it in different light so you know if you look at something for too long look at something else guys that's me with fading you know sometimes when it's too blurry i just look at you know something else that's like green or the wall i look at the wall a couple seconds and i look back at the fade it gives you different aspects of what you need to trim we need to look at sometimes i even look at the camera guys or I even look in it from the mirror see what else i need to fade and now i'm using my andis masters and just i'm flicking up that line now using the lever open and if it's not trimming anymore remember what i said guys use the lever close it a little bit make sure you're just flicking you're not bringing that fade higher guys you're just flicking from the line that's all you're doing if it's not trimming anymore keep bringing that lever open i mean keep bringing that lever closed and you eventually get that line up guys fading is you know patience and you don't want to just rush it because you just keep bringing that fade higher so take your time with it brush it down if it's not you know it looks like nothing is trimming then if it's still not trimming just keep bringing your lever down
I'm just using the 1.5 on the other side as you can see I'm even stretching the skin so I can try fade the small section that we have guys remember you don't want to bring this fade high because we are sticking with a mid fade and as you can see I'm stretching the skin from the top and I'm trying to fade it in using the corners or even half of the blade going you know in different directions that you want to try and fade it in but try not to just go straight up so go in angles guys remember go in angles will make everything easier with fading the from the bold line as well guys i'm using the 0.5 guard and i'm flicking it out guys I'm, I'm using it to make the harsh line softer and i'm going from 0.5 open and i'm going slow shorter and shorter which is closed to make that fading line easier to blend when you go with no guard Guys, when I started out, it's very hard to, you know, get that back looking all blended. We all struggled there. I know all barbers struggled there. But if you guys want to make the back look blended like the sides are, just make your guidelines a bit wider at the back, guys. Because sometimes when you have it too short at the back, it just looks like it, it wasn't faded at all. So just make it a little bit wider. Fade it. Take your time. Remember, guys, go from the 3 to the 2 to the 1.5. To the one to the 0 0.5 and then no guard just take your time keep using your lever and just keep fading and now guys with the one guard i'm just trimming the beard down i didn't want to just keep it too long because it will look like it's unneat and i'm trimming the mustache and the sides and the beard down to the same length the hairline down i'm now using some hairspray with a card just you know it doesn't get to his eyes and i'm you know putting some hairspray on the hairline guys makes everything more crispy when you are using the trimmers and after putting the hairspray brush it down so all the hair is down ready to be trimmed guys this is simple when you're using your trimmers pull tap down and pull away that's all you have to do tap and pull away let the trimmers do its thing if it's not sharp enough guys Go on YouTube and search how to zero grab your trimmers. If you guys want this, just comment down below and I'll do a video on how I do my trimmers. Remember, tap and drag down. Trap, trap, tap and drag down, guys. Tap and drag down. That is your main thing. Guys, take your time. Keep looking left to right. Make sure you're not pushing this hairline back. And as you can see, towards the corners, I end up using half of the blade instead of the full blade. Just to make sure everything is clean. Tap and drag away. Tap and drag away simple guys
So guys, at the bottom of his neck, you want to just use a furrow shaver. It makes, you know, the growth last a little bit longer instead of it just growing back the next day. So it's the same thing with the beard shape up, guys. Instead of pulling away, you're pushing down, depending on how much hair he has on his beard. In this case, we're just pushing down because it's quite light. Now I'm just using a cutthroat blade and I'm pulling the skin away and I'm just lightly letting the blade glide on its own to the shape up. So guys, this is the cut. I hope you guys like this video and if it helped you out a lot, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions of any other videos you guys wanna see, just comment down below and I'll try and do my best to, you know, get it done. But yeah, this is the video. Hope you guys liked it. Make sure you guys subscribe, almost 100K. Peace.